we have to say the fun angle too as we deep dive into this game, okay? Because of this game. Because of course we have a lot of video games, sure. Yeah, just a ton of video games. But there is something funny to say about this dang game. Funny creepy, right? There is something to say about this game, okay? The fact that this 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 pointless tree, whatever this tree, why ever this tree thinks this is something to it, you know? The point that the tree right here has that, that, and stuff like this, kind of like elongated stuff like that. You know, there is a big problem that comes from Sucker, okay? Sucker has been like the the stuff I've been trying to build, build up of like... Just as I mean, anybody can really understand something that says sucker, right? Okay. Kind of funny to see anything with uni, right? Okay. Any, anything that you see of uni stuff, right? But here's the thing that we must see forward, okay? We, we must see this forward, okay? We must see that... That may be this, this, oh my gosh, I love, poke up for Pokemon fans, Masingo, right? But, but we must see, we must see somehow, some way, we must see if there's a chance we can find, out of all that crap, right? We must see if we can find this face, right? Because believe it or not, like I told you, these faces are crazy, right? These are faces you want to see, right? But if there's, like, an idea to see how odd this face is and I have a chance, I'm going to, in this, in this video, right now, you know? So, so I find it hilarious that this game would even have the nerve. It would have the nerve to be like, oh, that's funny, Jacob. Well, so... Sucker is cool. It's a very good concept of yours. But, you know, there's also a concept that we have over you. That's what they're trying to say to me. They're saying, we have a concept over you of how are you going to explain a face they've never seen? You know, like, how am I going to explain that, right? But let you know, video games, that I will. Anytime I have a chance, I will. <laughs> there will be somehow. I don't know how either, you know, because because I know it's very intelligent stuff. Yes, yes, I do know it's very intelligent stuff. But I do know, I do know that if I get really close enough, you know I'm getting close. That's the problem too. You know I'm close to showing a creepy face and it just gets, it feels like, that's why I pointed to that. It feels like I'm showing it to you. You know what I mean? It feels like I'm showing it to you, and that's that's the part. That's the part behind it. Now, in my last videos, too, we had a big problem. We had a tongue. Yes, yes, I know, right? Shocker, right? We had a tongue. We had the concept of a tongue. Of a tongue. So it looks like we're on the right track, and the reason I feel like we're on the right track is... Uh, when Shav Colossus' the secret happened, I felt like a dirty little whore. You know what I'm saying? I felt like a dirty little whore. Because as soon as that Shav Colossus' the secret happened, my eyes were on that TV. You know what I mean? My eyes were on the TV. And I was like, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Anytime, anytime I can feel the energy, anytime I can feel it, anytime I can see it or I can, or I can have an idea of it, I'm there. You know, it's, it's kind of like the person, right? It's just, it's just, it's just kind of like the person who plays Conqueror's Bad Fur Day for the first time. And they, they play it for the first time. And they realize that this game is allowing you to pee on the other player. So you and your friends can play a multiplayer game where you're peeing on each other. Okay? So that's kind of like, like, like a simple thing that anybody that plays Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, like, that, that, that will have in their head, you know? They'll be like, oh, I'm not going to forget... That Conqueror's Bad Fur Day had me to where I could go fight my friend with P, you know, versus shooting them, right? But, um, here, 
Here's what's funny too. Here, here, here's a, here's another funny part. Okay. What do you think they're thinking behind the faces that they're thinking of a concept of peeing on each other, right? If, the, if you have a little concept of of just you and your friends going to to up to each other uh, in the game, peeing on each other, right? If they have a kind of like a a mindset and an idea behind that, right? Because a uh, a a thing that's really crazy to humans is this. This is a crazy thing to humans. This is a this is this is quite the interesting practice. It probably probably a practice to make you money, you know, or make you have an idea when you're making something, right? Is there's the idea of how do you get a person, okay? How do you get that different person, right? How do you get the different person? And how do you get the person that, you know, just just follows by kind of like in a steady path, right? But then you get that different person, right? And then the steady person does meet the different person. That's the funny thing. The steady person and the different person do meet each other. And the interactions that come from them, that's a thing. That's a thing that that's the thing that everybody studies. You know, they study that. They study I mean, you have a common example common common example. Ugh, common example with Heather, right? This Heather thing going on where it doesn't matter who talks to Heather. It is Heather's world, right? It is Heather's world. So it doesn't matter who talks to Heather. It is Heather's world. I find that, I find that creepy too. Because I find it creepy that you can't get like a summary to that. You know what I'm saying? You can't get a summary you you can kind of get a summary, but you can't get the summary of them taking something to somebody because that is something to somebody. And then the funny thing is, they get these ideas right where they can they can put that in a video game, they can put that in a TV show, or they can put that in a movie. Okay, they they get those ideas and they they change a human because the human the human doesn't think it's possible to do something you know like that. But then when they see the TV show, movie, video game, whatever they see, right, they get that idea. And that kind of correlates with all of you. See, that's creepy. All of you. See what I mean? Like, 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 even if you, even if you have an idea where you're just like listening to me, you're just like, gosh, dang it, this guy. Gosh, dang it, this guy. I curse this guy. Like, like, kind of like that. You, You have the idea. You have that little idea, right? You you have it. You have that little idea where it's just like, oh, oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. This guy, this guy is talking about stuff that I always pay attention to. You know what I mean? That you always pay attention to because you can't, you can't get away from it. And then when you try to get away from it, you try. You know, there's many examples of that. I could go into a simple detail of many of that. You could go for for eons on that. And now think about this, okay? Think about this. This is creepy. Think about this, okay? I like this one. This one's so stupid, but listen to this one. You ready for this one? This one's stupid. Get ready. Sony girl! See what I'm saying? Say it with me. Okay, say it with me, people. Say it again. Sony girl, look how much I creeped you out just by saying that. Let me say it again to you. Sony girl. Now look at every video. Don't look at my videos. Look at every videos around you and then say it with me. You ready? One, two, three. Sony girl. But what have you noticed? Who is the only person behind Sony giving you information? Me. I know. I know, I know people, I know. I know how I know how that is. I really do. I really do know how that is. Trust me, I understand that. I really do understand that. But think about me right now. If I didn't want to tell you about anything right, I could very well do that. And I could go to Colombia, right? <laughs> I could go to Colombia and say bye, you know, like like 
So don't, so don't try and think that way, right? Think about the stuff I'm trying to do right now for us, okay? And the reason I've done this, too, believe it or not, the reason I've done this, and I found a way around to doing this, okay, is that I've seen structure. I've seen some kind of form of structure. And then I help you out. I help you from just having... A boring video, you know, just that stupid, boring video. You know which video I'm talking about. Where donations, donate to that person. You know what I'm saying? And then you're you're having this video where you're like, I need to donate to this person. I need to give them cash. That kind of thing. They need money. And the, and and. Then you, you you click on my video, and then it kind of like it, it breaks you a little bit because you're like, this guy's not asking me for cash. He's not asking me for anything. All he's asking me is to see, just to see something. That's all. He's just giving me an option or an idea in my head. But I I love to say that to you because that's another element of another element that's good to say to you guys because you want to feel the intensity. You know, you want to feel that. And then that's where we get like something as simple, right? We have to get something as simple as that. Let's think about this, okay? Let's not try and think about Keisha Gray talking about me. Let's try and not do that, okay? Let's think about this in a different way. Keisha Gray is a form of a market, okay? She's a form of a market. She wears a belt, right? Let's think about the funny way of it, okay? As soon as she opens her mouth, right, it's about her, right? Okay. But here's the the thing with me. I'm an entity of myself. So get ready for this. This is the thing. Do you think I care about Keisha Gray? Or do you think I care about video game systems that I've purchased? Oh. Oh, that was kind of smart, wasn't it? I probably care about video game systems I've purchased. Especially since when you play the Xbox, you need batteries. What? For your controller. Okay. 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 Have a good day. Um, yeah, isn't that a surpriser? That's pretty surprising, right? Did you know like, uh, well, there's pinpoint events? But then there is people like me who just hate pinpoint events. I really do hate pinpoint events. I've always hated pinpoint events because when you go to a pinpoint event, either you can have a good time, right? Or you can have that a time when you went to that event and you didn't learn anything, you know? You went to that event and you went out there and you were like, what did I do, you know? And then you're you're hungry and you're feeling like an idiot because you're hungry and you want to go and eat food, you know, just to replenish yourself. Through all that stuff that you did. So yes. Yes. I I break a mold. Okay. I break a certain mold with people. Okay. There's a certain mold that I break to people. And that's probably the funny thing that makes us laugh more than anything. Because for once, when it comes to Pat McAfee, Tom Grossi, whatever silly little Packers fan, right? They don't see the bigger picture behind me, you know? They just don't see it behind me. Maybe, maybe they need to see it and maybe it'd be great to see it because, you know, look, what's the one thing you do know? Okay. It's 2023. Guess what's the one thing you know about it? Guess who is scared of me? Pat McAfee. That should correlate to anybody that Pat McAfee makes money and he's scared of me. I know he's scared of me. I know he's a wimp. See, I know there's a difference between knowing if he's a wimp or if he's not a wimp. He's a wimp. He's a wimp. A lot of people have been wimps. I I try to extend my platform. You know, the only time I've ever extended my platform and I've, I've, I've reached out into an extension, a form of reaching out has been, right, it's been with Sniper Wolf. That's the only time it's happened, okay? At least, not, like, like, like I, I've, tr- I've tried to put, I tried to put it in an angle, right? And it's good when I do that because we get the funny we get we get a different response from Sniper Wolf, you know? We get we get something different, 
different out of it, okay? But think, think about I'm a bubble, okay? I'm always going to be a bubble, and there's going to be other bubbles around me. But I find, I find it, uh, I find like there is two different forms, you know? There's two different forms I can creep you out. I love creeping you out the way that I need to creep you out because I need to get you thinking, right? And I need to get you to be doing better stuff with your life. That's the one I enjoy. Then there's the other one. Okay, so here's the other one of drama. Now, if you want to know, like, why the puddle uh, from my brain, okay, the puddle from my brain doesn't want to go to, like, maybe that other funny drama place is because I, I do see when people see a video and they try to click on a video that they kind of want something different, you know? I do see that. And that's a, that's a good thing to see. You want somebody to see something different, you know? And if <laughs> like, as like, like think about it as much as happy as I could be, I'm, I'm going to tell you as much as happy as I can be with persona five tactica. Okay. I'm very happy with that game. Right. But as much as I could be happy about that, that's still the same time where you see me, right. P uh, having to do different things, you know, that's what we call, so what we call a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit of trying to do something else, you know, just, just trying to do something else because maybe I can get a better moment of Tactica, you know, like a better moment of Persona 5 Tactica. And just maybe, just maybe, maybe, maybe you get to the part, okay, maybe you get to the part where people find themselves. Do you know? I, I give common examples. There's just people that play video games online and they suck online on video games. See, but I keep winning at video games online, but uh, here I am, you know, just like, okay, guys. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> there is a, uh, there's a match in Splatoon. Oh my gosh. It was a funny match. You know, just like, oh gosh, that match was funny because I didn't, it was just about Splatoon. It's just think about it as an online game, right? And I was thinking to myself, I was like, I was like, oh, okay, buddy, because your life is not doing too well. You got to try and ruin my online match by not being a good teammate. You got to do this, the, the, the same thing that you can easily do. But I was kind of like laughing at them because I was like, that's what I want. I want you to suck. The moment you suck is the moment I can try and carry your dead body over the lap. I want, I want it. I want you to be a failure. Yeah, yeah, you I want you to be a little failure. Cause then when I get you to get that victory, then it's hilarious. Cause then you're just crying. You're just like, no, <laughs> no, that's that. That's the moments of playing video games, and that's the moments that people like when they see a video game. They like they like to see the moments when the person actually is doing something, okay? But look at me. Look at me. We're talking about all this video game stuff. For why? Because there's Ninja! You know what I'm saying? There's Ninja! And uh, whether Ninja knows it or not, Two competitive gamers, get what I'm saying? You see two competitive gamers. Even Zero, you know, Zero Super Smash, you see competitive players for Mortal Kombat and Tekken, okay? So we have all kinds of different competitive gamers. So all of us, we all look at each other the same. That's what we do. We all look at each other, man. Every one of us, all of us, um... Maybe, maybe I will, I'll put this as an example and I'll end the video here. This is an example. We, we, I do need to give this energy at some times, okay? So here's something I will say to you, okay? Just see the person that I am, okay? See the person at, that I am. I am the same guy. I'm what you think I am, okay? I am the same guy that plays Splatoon and gets death threats. And that's not bragging or anything. I really am. I'm the, the guy that you've been waiting for. The, the, the guy that gets death threats in Splatoon. It's me. <laughs> that guy. 
Um, I tried to start because you can, you you know, you can start your little squad ideas in Splatoon, you know, get your friends, get squads going. And uh, I remember this a long time ago that um, I was only only able to get one uh, member on my squad that was good enough. You know what I'm saying? Good enough. And what I mean good enough is that my teammate was serviceable. Okay. Another thing, too, is my uh, teammate had a time limit frame. Yeah, I know, right? So so basically a time limit frame of when they can play the game or if they're going to play the game. And another thing, too, is you got to try and you got to try and get them to, you know, playing. Right. But it's good when you get them playing. If you get them playing, it's good. So so I've had an impact on somebody seeing how good I am at the game. But then again, guess what's that's the same time. That's the same time when that person that hates me is, you know, trying to get my teammate, right? Because that's another, that's just another thing that I have. It's, 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 it's like I have a shield, you know? It's like my teammate, I can use him as a shield and then we can win. But like I can use him as a shield as kind of like a blocker, okay? So that's, that's all the people you're talking to. You are talking to people that are trying to find another shield so they can sacrifice and they can win the day game with ease, you know, have like an easy win. Okay. I think, I think putting like a project of that is hilarious too, because it's like, okay, people, that is really what's happening. I know it's really hard to see. I know, I know it's hard to see that that can happen or what that can happen, but yes, that is happening. There's even like ideas in their heads. Okay. There's ideas in their heads where they're like, well, gosh, dang it. This guy's good at video games. This guy knows what he's actually doing. I hope you see, see, this is what they say. I hope he doesn't get into my video game. I hope he doesn't get past the Splatoon game. It gets to another video game avenue. And then he stays in my video game avenue and I have to deal with him. Did you know the the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! community thing, right? Yes, believe it or not, Yu-Gi-Oh! community. At any time, there is a time that if if for some reason it benefited me in my life to to come back and play Yu-Gi-Oh!, I could come back and play Yu-Gi-Oh! So that's that's the big presence I have. I have a massive presence. Do you want to know how crazy of a presence I do have? I tell you 100%. The presence that I have is pretty intimidating. It's a pretty intimidating presence. Very intimidating. It's like it, it, it's like um, the funny part. You know, the funny part of the, all the Yu-Gi-Oh duelists that they're kind of like an easy way of showing you something. Okay. They don't really want another person to be at their tournament. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't want another different kind of energy at their tournament. And if they could take anything that's away from their tournament, that's probably a good thing for them, right? Just probably. Just just maybe that's what they want. Is they're, they're like, oh, I kind of want that. I just kind of want that. And they're, I mean, you want easy prize money? Did you know that Konami really does hate it when people uh, that don't deserve to win their tournament win their tournament and get the prize product? Because what do they do when they get the prize product? They uh, they do stuff when they get the prize product, you know? That's, that's what they're trying to do. So there there is, yes, there is people that go to like, like go and they're like, they're trying to manipulate it so they can win the product. And then you never hear of them again. You you never hear of them again. But you do you do hear how they were able to get the product, which is very funny. So 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 you, you, if you take one energy out, and then you take you take my energy out, you don't get to see that second energy going forward, right? And I find it kind of boring. I find it boring if uh, you don't have somebody that's challenging you, right? It's a little bit boring. Um, because as soon as you don't have somebody challenging you and it, it's, it's crazy. Why, what kind of story would you want in your head? You'd want somebody to be annoyed. You know what I'm saying? You'd want somebody to be like, you really would. You'd want somebody to be like, yo, this, this guy, this guy, <laughs> this guy is here. Cause, cause that person's always there. Okay. But you, you, you kind of want to know that there's just like, another another part another part to it oh my gosh dude 
the, the biggest thing I draw, the biggest thing I draw, and you've seen it this year, the biggest thing I draw is my love towards the Detroit Lions. <laughs> That's one of the biggest things I draw because it's the mean one. It is the actual mean one. The one where you say mean and it's mean because the mean the mean part is that, yes, we're all here. Yes, you little Baltimore Raven fans. Yes, you Dallas Cowboy fans. Yes, all of you. Yes, you 49er fans. Yes, you Eagles fans. See how quick I can do that? Yes. Yes, we are here. Oh, and I know, I know. You you, you guys have like a little, a little bit of like, you have a little bit somewhere in there. You know, I see it. That I see, I see a disgusting part of that you just hating that. But guess what? Guess what? You're, you're gonna have to get with it. You're gonna have to get with it. You're going to have to get with it. And then eventually you can clean out your fan base. See what I'm saying? You can get your fans out of your fan base. And hopefully you can get them to another team. You know what I mean? Because at the same time you're going through that, I'm going through that. Yes, I am. I'm going through that. And uh, I don't I – really, I really just don't like it. <laughs> uh, Jerry Jacobs is kind of like a common, easy example I like to say. He doesn't play a very easy – Position cornerback is probably one of the hardest positions in NFL. It, I mean, most likely it is. I mean, every time I think about a hard position in the NFL, it's being a cornerback. Yeah, it's it's being a cornerback. Um, and any minute a Lions fan gets the, the that says they're a Lions fan gets the talk. They decide to talk about, you know what I'm saying? They try they try to say stuff about Jerry Jacobs or anything like that. They're like, oh, we need secondary improvements. You know, but then they forget the grueling thing that is NFL and how fast everybody is. Everybody is fast. Every receiver, every tight end is fast. They're all remotely fast in some different way. <laughs> they have different speeds, too. Yes, they do. They have different speeds. They have different patterns. You know, they just have different things about them. And then you have one that's just angry. How how else do you get Mingo? You know what I'm saying? This is not talking about just the Lions. This is talking about how do you get that spot where Mingo, you know, gets a little bit better. And then and then Mingo says, I'm here. You know, like he, he says, I'm here. And then like, but the whole time that you've seen Mingo, you have not seen him like that. But now you see him like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. See what I'm saying? I'm here. <laughs> Anytime you guys decide and you want to talk, because I see somebody that's talking to, you know, before Sunday's football game, just know I'm here. <laughs> Anybody on my team, you know. <laughs> It helps when you go see a football game, right? When you see the football game live. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to see the real side? Yeah. You want to see that? I know. I know. I know. You want to see that crap, too. <laughs> yeah. See, see, people would like to. They would like to take me down, dude. Anybody would like to take me down. You know why? Because I clean my roster. And that's what people hate the most is a guy that cleans their roster. As soon as you clean your roster, your roster starts to become an actual good roster. But if you don't clean your roster, you know, it's not clean. But if you do, if you do, if for some reason you do clean your roster, your NFL roster, and you do, and you get the, you get the little spot where you do it and you, you get some people off the team, then your team grows, and your team grows, and your team has your your team has those players. Yeah, I can't believe I can put content even in a video like this. You know what I'm saying? The the fact that I can put content in a video like this, I even like to be creepy with people that because that's that's just unique to me, right? 
I like it when I'm looking at this thing and being like, chomper, 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 <laughs> chomper, you know, chomper, chomper, chomper. I want to see chomper, chomper, chomper sometimes, right? Yeah, I want to see chomper, 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 chomper. But I also, 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 also. <laughs> Ooh, I want I want to see something that you guys don't want to see. Yes, I do. I do want to see. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. And I hope we get to see it. And I hope so. Do you know why I hope we get to see it? Because then, then just maybe, just maybe, we're going to see football games. <laughs> Um, I don't even know what to say about that, but that's something that you guys probably should look forward to. <laughs> you should look forward to the idea of that. I think that's a good idea. I think overall as an NFL fan or somebody that's trying to watch a football game or is trying to make picks, trying to make picks or watch a football game would like the idea that we have an actual NFL playoff. Because every year that we don't have these this feeling of NFL playoffs, and then we try to watch the staying TV, <laughs> we try to like look at it. That's a that's a big problem. That is a big problem. It's not the fact of like saying like, oh, I want the Lions in the Super Bowl. That's not that's not the thing. It's the thing of I want the good teams in the good spots. You know, I want the I want the teams that deserve to be there to be there, and if they're not there or if something's not there you know you get silly things look at josh allen <laughs> josh allen had an easy win guys he really did yes he did he had an easy victory and he said no i do not want my easy victory i do not want that <laughs> <laughs> So I, I I felt I felt I felt see I felt I felt a little commotion, I felt a little commotion that I could only imagine that a Buffalo Bills fan would go through, with the idea that Josh Allen just said, hey, I'm, Josh, "I'm Josh Allen," you know, like that. Like, I'm Josh Allen. I just don't. Of course, I have a commotion, Matthew Stafford. <laughs> you know, a little bit of a commotion, just a little bit of a relation. To being like, oh, there he is. Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at that guy. Does he really want to sit on the chair? I think he wants to sit on that chair. I think that little pussy wants to sit on that chair. 